Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Celebration Grounds, and I am with CEO Mike Inman. We're going to be talking about uh, prices of box seats, DQP selections, just general information. But, Mike, glad to see you. Good to see you again, sir. We're off to another year, aren't we? We're ready to go. Everybody's yeah. already talking yeah. about the trainer show, and there's a new show in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Fantastic. So Fantastic. it's going to get to rocking and rolling pretty quick. That's right. Well, I know you and I talked about putting more people in the stands mm -hmm. and lowering prices to make it more feasible for a family. Now, mm -hmm. I talked last week about box seats that were as low as 200. That's correct. But they can get seats from eight, nine hundred dollars all the way down to 200. So right. Do you, would you like to just give them a little okay. information? There's about four that? different levels. Uh, those on the floor, the first uh, four rows are 895. Most people know about them. Then uh, the next few groups above that is 775, and then slightly, just as any other coliseum or event, uh, as you go up, that the prices decrease uh, is 500. And actually, we have the lowest box seat prices most people aren't aware of, and it's been this way for several years now, uh, is actually for $200, and that's six seats for 10 nights. That comes to $3.30. Yeah. A seat each night. You can't That's beat right. that. I mean, you, I, I, I went to a movie last week, and it was twelve dollars to get in, even being a senior. And then uh, by the time I did my popcorn and my coke, I was, you know, out another twelve dollars. Uh, so twenty-two dollars to go to the movie. Like you could put four of your family members in a box, your own box, right, for that same amount of money. So it's there's a wide range, and of course there's also general admission and reserve seating. But uh, basically. If you want to come to the horse show, we're going to make it so you can come. Well, I'm assuming that your wife was with you at the theater. Yes. So now that's that forty four. Yeah, that's forty four. That, that's forty four dollars. So absolutely. The horse show is a whole lot less expensive. Abs absolutely. And Plus, it, it, it's for a larger event. You get to see so many things. Uh, actually, you're instead of in a movie theater where you're supposed to be quiet, you're encouraged to yell and and, yeah, and cheer scream, and scream, yell, hoop, folks. holler, yeah. running yeah. back and forth to the concession stand. Yes. And, and instead of just one concession stand, y'all have them all the way around. All the way around, and that's great. And, and almost all of those benefit local civic clubs. So you're you're getting out for an evening of entertainment, great excitement at a sporting event, socializing with other folks, getting to see the best horse in the world. And if you go get a soft drink or a um, a piece of pizza or a hamburger, cheeseburger, bowl you're, of beans. You're, you're benefiting the local charity, so you're giving back to the community all at the same time. You're having a great time. Well, that's the main thing, and, and this is something we've talked about for years: is getting more pizza. They say, they say well, it's too expensive. I got news for you: three dollars no. thirty-three cents is not expensive. No. And that's for your own exclusive box. That's right. Six seats for uh, you and your family or friends to come. Uh, there's no other sporting event of this caliber that you can enjoy for such a nominal fee. There really isn't. Definitely, definitely less. Well, we've got this out of the way. Now, we know we've got lower prices on box seats so more people can come to the celebration. But also, right now, you're in the process of selecting a new head of the DQPs that's designated qualified person. They're the ones that do the inspections of every horse show, and especially during the celebration. So can you tell us a little bit about the process you're going through? Uh, yes, first, uh, John Paul Reiner, who'd been the head DQP for the last couple of years, uh, gave his uh, resignation, and we thoroughly thank him so much for the great job that he did uh, in his tenure, and that also being a DQP prior to uh, rising to that position. Uh, so he gave his resignation at the beginning, the beginning of the year, or effective at the beginning of the year, and uh, the show executive committee is in the process of interviewing several great applicants for that position, and I feel that they will be uh, getting their recommendation, submitting it to the board here this next month, and a uh, new uh, head of DQPs will be announced uh, by the end of February, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you, you'll also be inspecting some horse shows before then, because I know they've already hired a show judge mm -hmm. for the Philadelphia, Mississippi, and that's February 14th. Yeah. So uh, everybody's already getting into work. A lot of people are going to have uh, different events at their barn. Some of them are going to have barn parties. Some, but I was told the other day that even at a barn party, they're going to have those horses inspected. So everybody's on the upswing for the new year, and that's that's a good point. It certainly is. And uh, again, the activity has begun. Speaking of which, uh, it was announced today that uh, next weekend, February eighth, 
during the two-day USDA training uh, for all the HIO DQPs. There will be on the 8th from 2 to 4, starting at the Blue Ribbon Circle, a listening session open to the public. And uh, Dr. Reiner, who's a, uh, head of the uh, USDA VMOs in the field, has uh, asked me to extend that offer or that invitation to anybody is welcome. From 2 to 4, it'll be in the Blue Ribbon Circle. And then we'll be moving after the classroom portion, uh, which will be recapping last year and, and discussions mm -hmm. about the upcoming year. Uh, there'll be a hands-on uh, session with DQPs inspecting horses, both for the normal uh, inspection process and going through clarifying and make sure everybody is clear on the uh, measurement protocols uh, for horses going through inspection. So everybody's invited, no charge to be there. It's a, it's a great way to make sure that you're up to speed and ready to go. And like I said, we're getting into full swing. Yeah. This is good. So all of you out there who have emailed me or called me and asked me about this inspection, remember this date that you can come and you can actually sit there and see for yourself. And, and I have to say it, this is the toughest inspection process that I know of and people in other breeds will say that they don't think their horse could ever pass the inspection process mm -hmm. that ours go through in and out of the ring. So it, this is a good thing to be open yes, to the public. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And everybody's encouraged to come. All right. So now we're going to put more people in the stands and we're going to show them exactly what our horse goes through. What more can we ask for? That's it. We're having activities every weekend here at the Calisonic Arena, getting into the swing of things, ready for the weather to break. And uh, like I said, get those horses outside. And I'm excited. All it's right. upon us. If you want one of these box seats, anywhere from $200 all the way up to $895, I that's believe good. you said, call 684 5915, and that's 931 area code. Yeah. But Connie, someone here can help you. 